and perhaps not as many close matches as we, we would have thought. Um, the last match was a bit of a turn up, wasn't it? Yeah, just when they were knocking up, actually, I thought that uh, Mustafa looked, looked very strong, like very strong in the knock up. And uh, the first game. He won the knock up. He definitely won the knock up for me. And uh, it, really nice backhand, I thought. Really nice and simple, very strong. Um, I know a couple of the players, when I was chatting to them after the match, were actually saying that he, he, um, he was a favourite in their heads um, from some of the previous rounds, from some of the games that they've been watching. So, right. Um, as much as he was turned up on the seedings, I think a few of them had been uh, fancying his chances. Yeah, he, d he did look strong all week, and uh, but so did El Torque. I, d I didn't think El Torque played well um, at all, but of course, part of that is down to your opponent, isn't it? And all, all credit to Assal. Yeah, I think he was, he was very, very solid, um, most of in that match, and I think that's what came through really was how solid he was and it kept it nice and simple, quite a lot to the back, quite straight. Um, just, just sort of saw it through really and what he was doing. Um, so, what are your, what are your thoughts on this uh, women's? Uh, well, I was just about to say, uh, similar in a way here because Watanabe is um, number two seed in this in this final. Of course, she's only. Um, She's only three places lower in the PSA rankings, but I think she is a lot of people's tip to win this instead of uh, Sue Romanian, who's the number one seed. And, and I would go with that. I think I think Watanabe is slightly stronger, um, not just physically, but but mentally perhaps. Uh, so I'm going to go with her to, to win this trophy. I fed you with that bit of information at the start there, <laughs> didn't I? Set you up. Well, no, I was thinking. Uh, there's been a there's been a fair bit of talk actually during the week that that, uh, that people think that she's going to win. Gonna yeah, win this I, I was very impressed with her at the world. Um, she managed to qualify and then uh, took out Emily Whitlock in the, the first round. I was impressed with her there. I know 14 in the world. Yeah, I, I know I know Emily was was injured and had a few sort of niggles going into it, and but I was very impressed with how how composed she was in that match. And I think I think we'll see this in this final here and. Looking at the the semi-finals yesterday, I don't think there's going to be a lot between them, but I just feel that you know Watanabe's got just nice and solid, a little bit like that last final. I think she's going to be a bit too solid for for the Malaysian here. She's very robust, isn't she? Um, she takes a lot to uh, get her flustered. There's another part of me as well, which um, be quite nice to see a, a Japanese winner on the on the trophy. I think shows how uh, multicultural this tournament really is. Will it be? A f I'm assuming it will be a first. Yeah, I'm fairly sure. I don't know of any uh, male or female Japanese players uh, in terms of junior level that uh, reach those heights. Nice start there, just playing the ball across the front wall. Nice little kill. Start off this match. So I've seen both these girls taking out English players in the, the semi finals. Um, any thoughts on, on those matches, Parkin, and what you saw, saw there? or? Well, I did. Th I just think that um, Watanabe looked uh, very solid. I just thought that uh, kept her emotions in check. She just looked like a fully fledged PSA player, really. That's ready. That's ready already for for the circuit. And uh, it's very difficult to think of her as a junior, really. Yeah, I think it shows in the rankings, doesn't it? We've got two players in the top 50 of the world here. Down. Um, just shows the calibre of players playing at junior level Down. at the moment and the, equally I think the strength and depth it was really nice to see the English girls come through and get to the last stage of this event in the semi-finals and um, I thought they put in some good performances yesterday Down. and showed and what, we, what we've been two. thinking about them really and the calibre of, of player we feel like we've got coming through in England Yesterday, three, two. She didn't see much of the uh, Supermanian one, but uh, against Elise Lazarus. But I did see Down. more. I wasn't commentating on, on either of those. I must have been in my break. But uh, I did see more 
of Watanabe against Lucy Tumal. And she did well, I thought. Yeah, I a think little bit unlucky at, at yeah, times, I perhaps. Think, I think it was a bit of uh, some some dodgy refereeing decisions, but I think it was consistently uh, consistently inconsistent. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I've been a bit confused at times with some of the decisions during the week, but uh, they are, it is a thankless task. And Yeah, I think um, clearly there's some, some newer faces in the refereeing team across the event, which is good because I th think we need that. We need some more depth in the, the refereeing base to, to come through. and uh, need a bit more youth as well, don't we? Yeah, Referee. and uh, I'm definitely not going anywhere near the Yeah, that was my next question. <laughs> <laughs> I'll quite happily Very sit here and criticise. How old are you? Uh, 25. Yeah, so we're like 25 yeah. year olds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too old now. Too old for the for that lark. You're joining the uh, grey-haired uh, <laughs> club there, uh, Parky. <laughs> yeah, been that way for a while. It's been a fabulous venue for this event. Obviously, first year in Birmingham. Um, I think had a real genuine big event feel to, to the whole event actually yeah it certainly has it's been fantastic it's uh it's only seven months old this venue and uh I think we just needed the space that's one of the big things you know 640 know. entrance was it yeah i think it's i think it was something like a third bigger this year we've really increased the uh the size of the event um and i think you know mike edwards and his team here and the and xena and all involved in the, the organising committee have, have done a fabulous job um, in really sort of increasing the size of this event down, and, and, and having the capacity within the facilities as well to, to be able to do so. I think they've got a few sort of tweets that they were, they were floating the ideas of uh, having gone through the experience this year and I think it's only going to get better and better here and can get bigger and bigger as well due to the capacity that the venues in the, the West Midlands yeah, absolutely. have. Just caught her on the backswing there, Supermanian. But it wasn't a winning position, just a simple let. Yeah, they've done a fantastic job. Everyone's been made to feel very welcome as well and friendly, friendly organisers, volunteers. But yeah, it just feels like uh, everyone's been saying it feels like a mini mini PSA event with uh, some mini mini pros on the court all the way down to under 11. Yeah, I think. This glass court has got a, a really good feel about it. It feels down, feels like nationals down. or a PSA event. You know, it's got that that caliber of feel. You sort of walk into the venue and it it's got that air of um, of event about it, um, which really adds to the quality of the uh, the event this year. Oh wow! Well, that's an unbelievable down, shot from that back was, there. Uh, Six, deserved a little applause from Watanabe. That was perfect. Absolutely spot on. I do think out of the two players that the Malaysian, I keep dodging the name because that's a, a, a It's mouthful. a tongue twister, <laughs> yeah. Um, I have commentated on it before, so I've had a bit of practice. You've got got the whole lingo. Um, <laughs> it's, um, I, I think she does show some some very good skill level, the Malaysian. I, I just feel that Watanabe's got just a little bit more about her, just a little bit so more solid. Um, I think across the, the match as this continues to go on, I think we'll start to see that come through in the big points her experience at Worlds I think will start to will stand her in good stead here um, in this sort of big environment yeah I think you're right that's a good uh, bit of explosive and movement eight, seven. She did quite a bit of that yesterday just taking that uh, cross court nice and early Yeah, just going back to Lucy Tamel, I, I, that was the game I saw a little bit more of. I um, thought she did have, uh, she does have quite a lot of potential. Uh, there, was some, there was a couple of uh, shots where she was fantastic taking the ball in short, especially on the on the backhand. Mm. So I'm sure she was uh, very disappointed, but she's had a day to think about it and uh, should be proud of her performance, well, both, both her and uh, Elise Lazarus. Yeah, I think what we've got, uh, as a country and Lucy, Elise and, and Jazz who, who's also featured in the event um, are three girls with 
shown exceptional quality coming through in the, the girls of the 19s. And um, Elise obviously got another year left of this category. And I think across the three of them, we got they all add different qualities, which is really nice to see that as a national system, as the different environments they've come out of, um, different experiences are coming through and different strengths really show, which is and nice to see, I think. Nine eight. Yeah, you could really, uh, you can really envisage those three coming through into the senior game quite well, and and being part of the uh, the England team in the future, Commonwealth Games, etc. Down. A few too many and errors. Uh, Nine all. Rare errors, really, for the Tanabe. Yeah, and characteristically though, it's just uh, need to do a bit of patience that rally, just to, to try and create the opening, a genuine good opening, you know. Yeah, better position. Supermanian setting some good lines though. She's uh, well, I mean, we do t we're talking like, and, and I think most people in the event have been talking as if uh, the seeds are the other way around, but Supermanian is the number one seed. She's got some very aggressive hitting about her. Um, I'll give it a go, Subramanium. There you go. You've done it. Well yeah. done. You just have to slow it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's and the aggressive hit into the to the corners. She's got a great weight of shot, and if she gets in front, she can be. She yeah, can be well, it's game right ball. She has one game ball here. She was pointing to her head. Uh, it's a little bit uh, shabaggy style that was. It's been doing of late. That's good reactions. It was an intentional shot at the body of Ritanabe down the middle. She was equal to it. And we're now into a tie break situation. It's good hands. Down. Hand out. 11 10. Game Just needed to ball. flick that one a little bit, didn't she? she tried yes. It's very deep. That's a great shot. Oh, great start for Supermanium. Yeah, some great quality there. Super I think Manium the severity of hitting, weight of shot. Really got in front of uh, Satomi as, as the game went on. And I think that quality is going to be uh, a skill, the skills that she's going to need to win this match. So Supermanium, the number one seed from Malaysia, has taken the first game 12, 10 and 11 minutes. She leads by one game to love. seconds. If you were coaching um, Watanabe in this match, having lost the first game, what would you have said to her after the first? Well, I think in terms of uh, what I was seeing there, I think she made a few unforced errors where there were sort of careless errors as well, where just, just replacing the ball into the back corners would have would have benefited her. Um, I think controlling the pace is key. I think, you know, where Elise started to get more benefit, she got in front of her... Um, 
yesterday and controlling the pace of the back of the court allowed her to get in front and get on a volley which is a strength of Elise her skill set from in front um, but I just feel she's quite she's quite got quite a big swing in the back corners Subramanian and um, that can be exposed she tries to force it out the back sometimes I think as soon as you can get her behind you you take away her strength but also uh, start to start to put her under pressure and attack her weakness a little bit so barrier in the back corners basically and yeah yeah, yeah if you're going to cut it really short and uh, nice and snappy yeah because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have only got 90 seconds yeah I'll, I'll, I'll gotta fill it <laughs> <laughs> oh wow I don't think she's going to get a let because the ball's rolled it had to roll though wouldn't yeah. didn't it otherwise yeah. it would have been a stroke it was dead pan there it's not coming out If you had to give uh, Subramanian and Latanabe a mark out of 10 relating to their, their, their standard that you know of, what would you give them in the first game? Um, I think on Tabani, I got that wrong there, it's Satomi. I'll go for the first name, I'm easier <laughs> with that one. We know um, who you mean. Yeah. <laughs> the one in orange um, and blue. Yeah, that one. Um, <laughs> From from what I've seen, I think at Worlds a, a standard was was probably a little bit of a tear up from that first game, um, and that's kind of where I've been marking her at. And I think yesterday she played close to that, not quite uh, full capability, but not far off. Um, the errors I just felt were uncharacteristic in that first game. At big points as well, really. And out. She's not seeing it, is she, very well here as well. She's not reading it as well as she normally does. Subramanian yes, does have that, that ability with her skill level, though, to cause real problems, I think. Yeah, she's got a lovely relaxed swing. Comes down on the ball really well. Look at that. Yeah, she's... Uh, Slightly awkward movement there for Watanabe. I think she, she's going to be okay. She's landed a bit funny. Yeah, just slipped there. Quite a nasty two two footed. Uh, yeah, two feet in there. Could have been. It could have been worse. She kind of just caught herself in time. Yeah, but it was a bit awkward. It's almost like a two footed tackle in football that park. <laughs> yeah, I think I would <laughs> straight for the yellow. Uh, it's a bit of a slide. It, Okay, Notice that in uh, Sam Todd's game earlier, actually, it, was, it seemed to be uh, sliding a little bit in the front corners. Yeah, there were one or two Four slips three. there. What have you made of the English success in the, the boys' 13s and 15s category? Well, I was, I was asked, um, I was asked earlier who, what my highlight was of, of today, and, uh, and uh, living, living and residing in, in Pontefract and being Five the club where three. I first ever hit squash ball I'm slightly biased but yeah. uh, I'm being a Yorkshireman but say S Sam Todd winning um, his second British Junior Open um, Six, pretty Eight. friendly with uh, with him and his dad and the whole Pontefract crowd so it's, uh, it's great to see somebody so good from that, that part of the world I think that's going to go down as a, a highlight no matter what in Sam's yeah, career because yeah. I think that's been a really tough week for Sam and it it's been so nice to see him come through and, and manage to, to win there. It's I know he's both physically and a couple of bits that have sort of been niggling away across the week. And yeah, he's had niggles, hasn't he? That's um, the thing. It's, it's a big, big test to come through that. And, and Jonah Bryant as well, you know, of course. I know his dad uh, started playing playing under 12s with, uh, with Ross back in the day. Like national squads and really good player himself uh, so it's great to see his Five. son come through and be so well he's another just very special player yeah I think Jonah's performance today really stood out for me I think it was very clinical in what he did today um, yesterday was a bit of a wobble and uh, I think today we saw what he's fully capable of it was a very clinical performance a performance well above his years really yeah. in terms of the, the class that he showed yes, very he severe in his hitting and uh, didn't let him in at all yes, Five, six. it's so nice to see some English players coming through at 
a young age and succeeding, it's been something where we struggled. If you go back the last sort of 10 years, and I know sort of me and Lee Drew were sat last night sort of actually a little bit disappointed. We thought we had some genuine chances to get even more success at this event. Um, but it's been so nice to get two winners. Getting greedy. And yeah, I think that it's true. <laughs> no, I think kidding. we're... We're kind of looking at it and going, we, we've had Could have had that one, could have had that one, yeah. Yeah, and if we think back to the last sort of 10 years, um, genuinely we probably would have been very happy with, well, exceedingly happy with this this week. And I think, go on reflection, we've you know, some genuine great successes, but there could have been a few more. Seven, six. There's another poor error from Watanabe's just... Uh, just keeps happening really I, I hardly saw her make any enforced errors yesterday in the semi-finals against Tamel Oof, that's close it's very severe that forehand it's just really wind up in that back corner Eight six. well she's quite small in the uh, stature isn't she Supermanian but she's uh, she's ruthless Again, just forcing it there, Watanabe. Yeah, he's getting upset with herself as well. It's not going to help. It's a, it's a nice little battle, this. It's the, the battle and playoff between Malaysian's quality with the racket and severity of hitting and the, the so how solid Watanabe can stay. And at the moment, Watanabe's just not being solid enough. Well, it's not often I say this Seven, uh, nine. about Supermanian, but that was the wrong shot. Some crucial points here. They really are. It's um, it's fascinating, really, just to sort of try and work out how how Watanabe is going to change this around. It's difficult. I mean, that's uh, the lines that Supermanian is hitting. Uh, a spot on, she hit two very good straight drives and then a cross court which went in, in exactly the right spot. And she's got three game balls here for a two love lead. I think this is where she truly and is. She's done well it across. straight away. Look at that. Look at the reaction yeah, as well. Seven. It's an unbelievable finish there. Absolute, the second game. Absolute quality. Marimani. Straight down Marimani. on the ball, no messing. He comes along. Look at that reaction. Absolutely fantastic from Supermanian who leads by two games to love. She is the number one seed. A lot of people were thinking that Watanabe should have been, but it's 11-7 in the second game in 10 minutes. Supermanium leads by two games to love. seconds.
Time. Romanian leads by two games to love. Double. So lots of food for thought, especially after that one uh, was slammed into the net for Watanabe. Yeah, I think Subramaniam has really sort of charged onto the to the hitting and the severity from in front of the court here, and it's caused all kind of problems in these first two games. If she keeps up and this sort of freedom in what Down. she's doing from in front, Watanabe's not going to get much change here. I feel in this third game, she really is going to have to find some solidarity in what she's trying to do. If she can find a bit more length two. to the back corners, it, I do feel though. I do still feel that it, this game could turn and Watanabe could uh, start to really make an indent on this this women's final. Yeah, it's one of those, isn't it, where um, you feel she's just sort of bubbling under. And we, we we know, we all know that she can play a lot oh. better. It's just a question of if Supermanium lets her in. I think all the balls were good. Yeah, I agree with you there. It's a nice ball shot that from the back. Yeah. Oh! Oh, good on the side, yeah. Unsure which. Uh, yeah, she's thinking it was out, uh, but it wasn't. I don't, I don't feel this this one. Yeah, yep, it's well under. So. Three, two. Yes, let. Yes, let. Well, just didn't commit to that at all, did she? It was uh, and out three all. Poor movement from Utanabe. A little bit fortunate there, Josh. Yeah, uh, had a couple now. She's just starting to build herself a lead here. She's got that one point ahead. See if she can kick on in this third game. I feel momentum's just starting to take its course. By three. Well, should Supermanium win this match, she would be the third Malaysian to win today. All, all girls. Down. And Shows maybe a, a legacy of Nicole David starting to come through. Yeah, I mean, obviously she's a she's a giant of the game, not literally, <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, just such a legend and such a great person and role model for well for anyone in squash. But if you're a young Malaysian well, girl, thank you, and she's the ideal role model, isn't she? Oh, absolutely perfect. And I think and start, I genuinely four. think we're starting to see that in. Uh, some of the Malaysian squash, it's been, been nice to see them feature in such a strong way in these girls' finals today. Two, the two sisters won actually as well, didn't they? Not just from Malaysia, two uh, Asman sisters. Out, hand out. Well, she got it first bounce, but... 
knocked it out of court. It was a nice low drive on the cross court. A lot more positive there from Mutanabe. She is hanging in there. She's cutting out the unforced errors and she's playing more accurately now. So dangerous times for Supermanian. Rally here. Oh, she's read it straight back to her, and uh, there's the fist bump again, and the disappointment in the body language and from Watanabe. Worked hard there. Opens up that two point cushion again there, and I think that that rally really put some work into Watanabe. It certainly did, and she down, ended up losing it. Uh, Six, seven. Point thrown straight back, though, so still staying in there. Mayhem just clipping the top of the tin there. Just trying to force it from the back of the court. Levels it back up at 7 all in this third game. Out. And out, 8-7. Dying length there from Watanabe. Dying on the second bounce on that forehand side. Broke to Subramanian. Broke to Subramanian. Yeah, that's the right decision. Unfortunately and for Watanabe, she just couldn't clear. The ball came very wide into the swing of Subramanian. And she is just two points away now from this title. Watanabe showing signs of fatigue there at the end of that rally as well. Yeah, she, that's, that's a good point. She doesn't look quite as uh, lively as Supermanian. Wow. wow. That is poor from Watanabe. We just haven't seen those kind of errors from her. You were talking about the World Championships, but also this week. Just not reached the heights that she's uh, been used to recently, but all credit to Supermanian. She has two match balls here. Ooh, well one save well for the Japanese girl. 9 10, match ball. line there on the forehand side from Supermanian. It's well dug out. Big chance here. Ooh. Well straightened. Oh, and there wow. We have <laughs> what a finish. What a gutsy Never finish there. Nine. And you see the disappointment and the Next fatigue the of the Tanabe, but very much deserved for Supermanium. A nice embrace at the end there. A fantastic match. A fantastic final. Slightly surprising for uh, a lot of very knowledgeable people thinking that Watanabe should have been number one seed, but Supermanium, absolutely fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, hardly one more round of applause, wrong. please, for our two under 19. She wins 12 10, 11 7, 11 9, 33 minutes. Congratulations to the
how did you find that? Well, um, so we stopped with Satomi, I played him many times. We've always played like 3 1, 3 2. So finishing it 3 love today was good, and it's my last junior tournament. So I'm glad I won it. Last time you're going to be on the BGO? Yeah, last time in all my junior tournaments. Amazing. And what's next for you now? Um, it's the PSA circuit. So, yeah, I hope to do well there too. Great stuff. And finally, just a word for um, Satomi. Well, um, Satomi, she's a great player. She, well, she had a really good um, match in World Champs this year. So, next last year, sorry. So, I thought it was going to be tough. So, yeah, she did play it well, but congrats to her. So, yeah. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Our girls under 19 champion for 2018 BGO. Siva.